Hey there, YouTube. As you may remember, back from April, my airplane was down for maintenance. I got it back in May and flew it for a couple of months. Posted a couple of videos. Then it lost oil pressure. I did an oil change, inspected the lifters through the fill hole again, noticed some metal, and I grounded the airplane. This time to have an overhaul performed on the engine. I overhauled the bottom end of the engine, the propeller, the prop governor. Today was supposed to be the maiden break-in flight. But then, this happened. So we'll start this video as I pull away from the fuel pumps. I'm going to go ahead and leave this portion of the video basically unedited. Right now what we're looking at is the fourth time that this engine has run since it's been put back in the airplane. We ran it for about 20 seconds uh, about a week ago. We ran it for about two minutes yesterday. Got it up to temperature and then let it fully cool back down. And then today, just before this run, I taxied around the hangar from the north side to the south side and topped off the fuel tanks. I wanna make sure I have good data for this flight. So I open up for flight Press record on the track log. Then I take a picture of the Hobbs meter. And the tachometer in the MVP 50. Now I really should be paying attention to where I'm steering the aircraft, but I also want to make sure that I'm paying very close attention to the engine so that it doesn't overheat or in case what's about to happen, happens. All of the instructions I've read or have been recommended to me recommend keeping ground runs to a minimum. So I performed most of the run-up procedure checks prior to starting the engine. So here I go straight into the engine run-up test. I increase the RPMs to 1700. Perform a mag check. Check both the left and right mag. Then I go to check the propeller to make sure that it has oil. And I grab the wrong handle. Oops. Recover from that and then check the propeller. Now I'm good to go. I set 20 degrees of flaps as per the POH with the stole kit. Check that final's clear. 
make an announcement that I'm taking runway 30 and staying in the pattern. And here we go. As I begin rolling down the runway, I check the engine management computer and notice that all the temperatures and pressures are in the green. RPMs are almost 2700. And the manifold pressure is at 35, 36 inches. So let's go flying. I reduce the manifold pressure to 30 inches and start to reduce the RPMs to 2500 by adjusting the propeller. I mean by adjusting the propeller. Now this is precisely what you should not try and do, but I was at an altitude that I would already be in my crosswind turn so I decided to head back to the airport. I put the gear down and I hope I just make the field. I notice I'm getting slow, so I push the nose down. Stick around to see the look on my face when this all happens. But first, let's take a look at it from the outside. I was in the air for 1 minute, 12 seconds.
time it took to enter runway 30 and exit runway 08 was 2 minutes 26 seconds. Let's see my reaction when that happened. Needless to say, it's going to be a while before 3 Alpha Tango is back in the air. Subscribe to the channel to find out how we deal with this.